Here we are, finer killer, fi final, finer? Finer, finer. The finer killer question. The finer things in life come from Canada. Canada Dry ain't no bullshit. You pour some Seagram 7 with some Canada Dry. And you'll be fucking dry humping your mom before you know it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna uh, have to put a disclaimer down there. Canadians do not dry hump their mothers. <laughs> okay. And scene. Here we go. Shibley! 182, our killer from the north. Our man. The shipster. Clan, the shipster. Shibalicious. The jib. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, here we go. Um, horror soundtrack. Alice Cooper's Man Behind the Mask or Dawkins' Dream Warriors? I don't know. I like them both. I love them both, but I'm going Alice Cooper all day, baby. Really? Oh, yeah. I own them Dawkins both. bad. Dream Warrior song is bad. I own them both. But he's on back. Final. The man behind the mask. I oh, know. That's a ring on my phone. That's right. Plus, it has the ch 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 Right at the beginning? It's bad. There ain't no razor scraping on Dawkins. Is there? No. No, there's not. Let's see here. He's going to find my ringtone. You want me to just call you real quick? Mm-mm. -hmm. To prove it. Right there. And then that bass line. That's it. Yo, with your baby. So yeah, I'm going Alice Cooper. What do you what do you got? I know you like them both, but gotta pick one. I'm going Dream Warriors. All right, just to be different. No, because because the video is awesome. At the end, Freddy's oh, what a nightmare. This fucking Dawkins was ripping it up, bro. George Lynch was throwing a sick old solo. Don okay, Dawkins giving video, those highs. Oh, ah, yeah. because they never made a video for Man Behind the Mask. Nope. There's a lot of cool YouTube ones out there though. Mm-hmm. That have Jason the doing his thing. I own them both on vinyl though. I can say that much. There you go. So I do like them both. All right. Next question. Shibley182 is thinking about getting his first tattoo, and if I had the money, I would fly your ass out here myself, and I would ink it on you. But we can't. So, he's asking, should he get the pumpkin knife from Halloween 1, 78, or a Myers mask tattoo? Coming from a man who has many of Michael Myers tattoos, anyone's going to be a good choice. This is true. Here's what I would do. I would do the Myers mask with the pumpkin underneath it. That way you don't have to choose. Yeah, you got them both. But maybe Shibley's on a limited budget here. Maybe he has to get one or the other. Hmm. I would save up a little longer and just go get them both. Yeah. Make a deal with the artist. I'll wash your car. Yeah. I'll wash your balls. Don't go there. I don't have to do another yeah, one. No, Canadians no, do not suck balls. No, we're not. We don't want you to wash no balls. No, we don't. But no, like, and make sure that it's the one you really want. Yeah. Like, make sure you pick from the movie you like most or the scene you like most, you know? Because you don't want to be like, fuck, I could have got that one. Shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Try not to get a, a Myers mask that's on a poster or something. Watch the movie and find that Myers scene that really you know, grabs you. And then Watch for that Maya scene that comes out and grabs you by the scroot and just makes you say, I want that fucking mask on my arm today. I keep losing it towards oh. the end. Oh. But... <laughs> All right. So that's our advice on that there. Kill Holy up. shit. All right. Predator or aliens? I'm going predators. I don't give a fuck. Honestly, sorry Shibley, but that's one I don't give a flying fuck about. I don't give a shit about either of those fucking movies at all. I go for Jesse the Body Ventura. Fuck that. He was in Predators. Ventura. Well, not Predators. He was in Predator. Predator. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's who I go for. That's yeah. who I go. Jesse the fucking Body, man. Or Carl Action Jackson Apollo Creed Weathers. That's who I go for. Both of them died. That's what I... Predator, okay, to me, personally, here we go. I don't care if you guys get mad, because I really don't care. Because you know, you know this. When we used to hang out with the fat fuck that we won't talk about, 
won't mention his name. That's going to be a killer <clears throat> question now. I already know it. Well, who's the fat fuck you guys want to talk about? <laughs> when you went and watched the, the verse movie with him. Remember, I didn't go. The whole right. crew went but me. You know why? Because I didn't like it then. I don't fucking like it now. I don't like those fucking movies. They're fucking lame. Predator. All of them. Predator. Fuck them. Predator. Fuck the aliens. Fuck the predators. Fuck them all. You know what I wish? <laughs> what? I wish the predators would um, be more sniper. I mean, you think about it, they got the best camouflage. This is true. They got automatic laser range finding, mm -hmm. and they can produce one-shot kills. I'd like to see Predators do more of a sniper role, and then no one can fuck with them. And, yeah, and the reason why I don't like those movies is there wasn't a lot of action for me. Yeah, the new Predators, you'd have to wait a while before the action kicks in. Yeah. They really do. Yeah, I'll be like this. It will. <laughs> you might as well just, if you ever get it on DVD, which I know you won't, but if you do... Skip to chapter 12 out of 14 because that's where the action is going to kick in. Really? It's slow. It is it. fucking slow. First you got these big ass predator dogs that come out of fucking nowhere and you're like, okay. And then they shoot at them, but then they run away and then some other thing comes running up and Michelle Rodriguez. Oh, she's in it? Oh, I ain't watching it. I think it's her. She's the worst fucking the sniper, actress I've right? ever fucking seen. I don't fucking know, but she's a piece of shit. I don't know, maybe. Stand. Anyway, the, the the female sniper, I think it's her, but I'm not sure. I didn't really pay attention. Then they shoot at that other thing that doesn't make any sense. Then Lawrence Fishburne comes out of nowhere as a cloaked predator, and then they go to the ship, and then the predators finally catch up, and thus the action finally kicks in. After everybody's walking around going, well, I don't think we're uh, in Yosemite. <laughs> Look, four moons. So, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay, like moving that. on with Shibley 182's questions here. Oh, Canada. Yeah, that's Hail to thee. <laughs> We're just going across the border for some gravy and french fries. <laughs> Almost made it. Saw Almost 7 made it. <laughs> or Paranormal Activity 2. What should we recommend these killers to see this summer? Yeah. Saw 7. I'm going out on a limb, man. I don't like paranormal. Paranormal. Well, Saw 7, here's the cool thing. Saw 7 is going to be in 3D, so that's going to make it a more interesting ride. Paranormal Activity 2, I'm going to see out of the curiosity that they can top what they're saying of Paranormal Activity 1. Are they going to get the same type of responses and stuff that they got? So it's more of a question thing, but yeah, I'd probably have to pick Saw. I don't know why. It's both like, it, it, I mean, honestly, both of them are like, what side of a turd sandwich do you want to take a bite out of? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, either uh, way you bite, it's going to be crap. So. Yeah, exactly. But uh, uh, Saw 7, I mean, it's got a legacy now. Saw and 7, the franchise that never dies <laughs> with extra fries. <laughs> All right, and final question from our killer, Shibley182, killer from the Norte. That's how we say North in Spanish. Have you been to Canada? Let me tell you this right now, brother. <laughs> if you were to sponsor me, I would fucking move there in a heartbeat. I'll say it. Yeah. And here's why. Tell them why. Canada has the world's longest range sniper shot. That's why you'd move there. Not Adam. because Barack Obama's a fucking turd. That's number two. Really? <laughs> well, yeah. I want to live where the longest sniper made his shot. Oh, man. That'd be sick. But yeah. anyway, no. If, if I could get sponsored, I would move to Canada. Because they seem to have a bit... I mean, first of all, the people seem nicer. Genuinely nicer. I don't know if it's because you're cold or whatever it is. Maybe you can clue me in on that because I've never been there, so I don't know. But uh, first of all, ta uh, Canada's got a wicked tattoo scene real good I don't know what that means um, but yeah the chaos that America seems to be in the reemergence of racism the uh, the gang banging Washington DC of Democrats versus Republicans this blue and red nonsense um, just the overall entitlement mentality that uh, seems to be going on in the, the ridiculous bickering over dumb shit. I just... 
Whew, if I could become Canadian, I would. I would I would run to Canada and claim political asylum. Just get me the fuck out of here because this shit is crazy. It's just crazy here. I don't like it. I don't like that uh, Congress makes $100,000 a year, but these fuckers come out $20, $30 million worth. I don't like the way our political system works that the rich get elected to take care of the rich. You know, the last time we had a, uh, a, a normal, everyday person go in the White House and shit was back in the 18 goddamn hundreds and shit. And it's just the, the whole, the way the, the war on terror is being fought. I, I don't like how we have to keep spending our money to babysit the rest of the world to take care of shit that they should take care of themselves. We got problems over here. We got terrorists in our own country that... Uh, that are gangs. Not that to are, mention all the shit going on in Arizona. One right. state alone. One state alone. There's enough chaos for the whole country. Right. And, and and you got our government taking the side of a foreign government and suing a state in my life. I never thought I would see the government of the United States sue a state. And and you know, you guys can have your opinions on the whole Arizona thing. We live next door to the shit, okay? So you can be a, it's racist, it's profiling, it's yeah, son, none of that. My son almost didn't get to register for school because so many people from Arizona are Exactly. Here. Exactly. And the school has already been at for, what, three years? This will be years? year three. Yeah, it almost didn't get to register. He didn't, because of all the people coming from Arizona. He, got, he His son almost got fucked and almost had to go be the new kid again. Yeah. And that ain't no good. It let, is Let me tell crazy. my Canada story real quick. Oh, yeah, you had a Canada story. You I have been to Canada, Shibley, for I'll a to total of about five minutes. <laughs> there you go. Okay, we got to the border from Michigan, and I was like, okay, we're doing a scavenger hunt. We need a fucking Canadian phone book. We can make this happen. Yeah. Oh, hell no. We got up there. Fucking Mountie said, you turn this fucking car around, we don't fucking like ICP. We don't like fucking juggalos coming over here from Michigan. So turn your shit around and get the fuck back to Michigan. And that was how, how long I was in Canada for. total of about five minutes. There you go. There you go. That's how it really went down. But I'd love to get sponsored and move up there. I'm sure Canada has its problems, too. But uh, it's just crazy. They're not as bad as the problems it's, here? It's just crazy. No, it's not. You know, I mean, I could go on for days. Maybe I should bring back the zero hour. Where I just start State of the Union address shit. Maybe. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think give you my opinion on the whole deal. If I was your president, how would I fix this country? I got ideas for days that are so great, make you want to slap your old mama. That's how great my ideas are. Maybe I'll let you know. This shit Maybe just I won't. angers me so much, I don't want to It does, it, and it, that's man. another thing, is when you start talking about it, it pisses you off, because, like, why is a fucking dude who does horror movie shit have it more figured out than these butt fuckers that go to Yale and Princeton and Harvard? You know why? Because all of our politicians come from the upper crust and have no idea what it's like to be us. Exactly. And that's why our country is so fucked up. And that's why he would move to Canada. And that's why I would move to Canada. And besides that, above all the reasons, number one, even more than the sniper thing, love your bacon, motherfucker. That's what I'm really? saying. Canadian bacon, bacon, any bacon. Yuck. I would eat Jawa bacon. I don't give a shit. As long I just as like bacon. regular bacon. I don't like Canadian bacon. I don't like Brett the Headman hard either for that fucking note. I didn't say that. I did. That is Jamie's for uh, Jamie. Jamie Myers. Voorhees, exactly. See, if Jamie you're Myers. To say it for days. Care of Psychopath TV or from the community. Yeah, message me with that Brett the Hitman comment because I ain't fucking Ooh. down. The screw job, the Montreal screw job. I was the only one for for Sean. Yeah. See, we'll start the wrestling show right now. God damn it. We almost could. We'd like to thank you for joining us this week. Sorry it's a little late, but we'll be getting it up and everything, and we'll be seeing this tomorrow. And we have better hockey, because we have the Detroit Red Wings. They're on this side. They're not on that side. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, but where are they all from? I don't give a flying fuck. Uh -huh. They're all from uh -huh. Russia, so fuck that shit. <clears throat> all the Red Wings are all fucking psycho Russians. They don't fucking care, bro.